Moving on now, and electric motorcycles that are made here in Singapore, they could hit the roads in Southeast Asia as early as the first quarter of next year. And that is after one homegrown firm recently received $2 million in seed capital with more to follow to manufacture these greener two-wheelers. Elizabeth Neo with a sneak peek of the prototype with just its chassis for now. The weight is pretty much lighter than those uh, gasoline bikes. The throttle is also uh, quite similar to gasoline bikes also. It's maintenance free and doesn't need to um, go to the uh, petrol kiosk to fill up. Singapore and the region could be seeing more of these electric motorcycles with Eurosports Technologies developing this bike called the Scorpio Electric in the city state. Its goal is to help solve one of Asia's top health hazards, air pollution. But just how sold are people on this green movement? At this moment, there's hardly any interest. I guess there's uh, many reasons. Huh? Government not encouraging yet. The electric motorcycles, electric cars are still very new. Data from the Land Transport Authority showed there were just two electric motorcycles in Singapore as of December last year. So for a start, the firm is targeting early adopters by addressing common concerns about electric vehicles. It says the bike can be fully charged in less than three hours through a normal electrical plug. And there's another selling point. It's meant to be a smart bike which can send and receive live traffic updates, for instance. Most people in Singapore that ride the motorcycle, uh, a lot of them are due to the enthusiasts, like I said, right? So they're always interested in new technology, new engineering. Now, we believe that for motorcycles, because it's even more accessible, in the early stages, we could get a conversion rate of even up to 10%. The company aims to have a production-ready prototype by June this year and start actual production in the first quarter of next year. About 10,000 motorcycles are planned for the first release, with the bulk to be exported to neighboring countries like Indonesia and Thailand. Now, the price of the Scorpio Electric is comparable to a regular 150cc gasoline petrol bike, and that costs about 15 to 20,000 Singapore dollars with COE. But the firm says there are long-term cost savings as it's cheaper to maintain and power an e-bike. And to make these bikes, Eurosports Technologies told Channel News Asia it's adding a manufacturing facility at its research and development headquarters in Singapore. A move that one expert says is not surprising. All this new technology of e-type electric anything that do with the internet of things, those technology and skills that are in Singapore. From here to go even to the rest of the world, we have all the free trade agreements. It's a very attractive proposition. The firm is also planning an entry-level model that's expected to cost around $10,000 to $15,000.